Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So this is what I'm starting with. It's like a really old twist and perm rod set thing. Like I do two strand twists and then put perm rods on like the last third of it. Anyway, it's looking pretty rough. I've redone it probably once, um, but I'm not really ready to wash my hair and I kind of want to just do a quick protective style. So I'm using a steamer. This is technically for clothing. It says, do not point it at your face. Just a disclaimer, I don't really care. I'm gonna use it in my hair. It works really well for clothes too. Anyway, I'm taking the steam to just kind of loosen it up a little bit, make it easier to detangle. And then from here, I'm going to do a, sort of a heatless blowout. So it's looking a little crazy. This is giving me chime hair crush vibes. So effortless and voluminous and pretty. <laughs> oh, to have hair like chime. <laughs> Kinda does look like her hair. Yeah, I kind of like Chime's hair and I feel like it looks a little bit like this, but hers is way prettier than mine. Anyway, this is what the steam did to my hair. Just a little bit of a texture shot. You can see it's kind of starting to revert. The ends that have been rolled on a perm rod are still kind of curly, but the rest of it's kind of undefined and fluffy. So I'm trying to do like a, a side part down, sort of down the middle, and I'm just using my fingers, and I'm not really using any other products to do this heatless blowout because I already have like a leave-in and like a little bit of gel in my hair. So I'm just gonna be using a spray bottle filled with distilled water to slightly dampen it so I can finger detangle. And I've sped it up, but I'm taking my time with this. Like I'm using my fingers for all of the little tiny knots, and I have super fine hair, so if you didn't know, it tangles way easy. So I've been opting for stretched out hairstyles instead of wash and goes because there are far less tangles with stretched out hairstyles. And I think that wash and goes all the time kind of lead to breakage in my hair. I'm going to take a wide tooth shower comb and starting at the ends I'm going to comb through it after I have finger detangled. And once that is all smooth and easy to finger detangle, I actually don't show it here, but I take a Denman brush just to smooth it a little bit. And just to update you, here's that tiny little piece of hair that I chopped out when I was taking out faux locks last fall. And then I two strand twist that and get it out of the way and I'm gonna do that to all of the sections. Finger to tangle after I've lightly sprayed it, take a wide tooth comb and comb through it ends to roots and then take a Denman brush to further smooth out the hair. Once I'm finally done, I think I have nine twists, and then I just slept on it on a satin pillowcase. The next day, I'm gonna take some jojoba oil, which is my all-time favorite oil for everything, taking down styles, massaging into my scalp. I just rub that on my hands, and then I'm going to um, undo the twists. I think, for some reason, I was thinking I was doing a twist out, but it's not a twist out, it's just a heatless blowout which is why I'm, I look like I'm uh, separating it for a twist out, but there's absolutely no hold because it was just water. So I, I think halfway through I realized, oh, that's right, I'm not doing a twist out because there's no, def there's no hold in this at all. And I mean, it's kind of cute, but it wouldn't last more than like five minutes. So I'm just gonna take a pick. You'll see me take a pick at one point and pick through my hair like I'm going to wear it as a twist out. But just running the pick through a little bit r ruined the definition. And I was like, oh, that's right. There's nothing in this to hold my hair. It's still cute. 
but I eventually I figured it out and continued to take the comb all the way through the end. See, it's looking kind of crazy. Like it's not really a real twist out because it's, there's no hold. So I'm just taking a medium tooth comb and then just combing through the rest of my hair. And from here, you could uh, do any kind of style. You could do a dry twist out, you could do flexi rods, you could do a perm rod set, bantu knot out, uh, anything. You know, the sky's the limit on what you can do with stretched out hair. And I'm feeling myself, and I actually ended up going to church like this because I didn't, ran out of time. I just parted it and pretended like, oh, this is what I meant to do. <laughs> but I kind of like it. It's effortless and big, and it makes me happy. Um, so after, a little later that day, I pushed it all back, and I noticed my hair is growing in this weird triangle, and there's like an awkward hole in the middle. Like, I can't believe I'm walking around all day with my hair looking whack like this so pretty sure it's time for a haircut anyway what I'm going to be doing is just a flat twist down the back with a little hanging bantu knot I did not come up with a hanging bantu knot at the end of a twist that is something I learned from Yolanda Renee um, she's got an excellent channel they do lots of vlogs and she does the hanging bantu knot technique so definitely check out her video if you want to know exactly what I'm talking about but I just combed through the hair um, with that same comb just to make sure there are no knots and then I'm just flat twisting all the way down and I think I twisted the sides differently I don't know they, they look different but this is a protective style it doesn't really matter what the ends look like so that's me doing a little hanging bantu knot that Yolanda does on her video um, and then afterwards I noticed my twists are not the same length again pretty sure it's time for a haircut or shape up or whatever but it doesn't really matter we're not, we're not gonna see it so then I just take a hair tie and then I'm gonna roll those two towards each other and then just like I'm doing a low ponytail I'm gonna take that hair tie and then loop it around three times it's kind of loose this hair tie is probably on its last leg but I love it when they're this loose from there I'm just going to twist the two twist to oh sorry we're going to do our edges. I'm not an edge person, but they were looking a little fuzzy. And this is just Murray's edge wax. It's like beeswax or something. I don't know. I was trying to make it look fancy, you guys. I'm, <laughs> you don't have to do this step. And that's why I kind of forgot. Anyway, back to the updo. I'm taking the two twists and twisting them together loosely, just in like a haphazard fashion. It's not really very specific and taking a pin and tucking the ends under and then if you want another pin to keep it more secure you just put that at the top but that's it super super quick uh you can wear this as an updo you can add some hair jewels to it anything and everything your heart desires but that way your hair is protected and it's still really cute and uh you can work out like this and your edges will probably be the only thing you need to refresh thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful i uh, look forward to making more videos on stretched out hair but this is a great option to stretch out your hair without using heat of any kind and then just doing a quick simple protective style thanks guys for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel and until next time bye